How you doing? It's Jared. I'm going to let you bathe in the glory that is this knife real quick before I get into it. You see this thing? I walked into the store and saw this. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Is that thing even... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like, the lady looked at me like, which one? No, yeah, in there. Because I, I was actually, I was on a date. <laughs> Leaving C's Candies. And I walked into this little store because I saw a rack full of Benchmades. And they had this thing, which is a Maserin Revolt. Sitting in there. What? I need that knife. I have to have it. It, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, I need it. I, that's my knife. I'm walking out of there with it. They had a price tag of $140 on it. I walk, I paid $100 out the door for it. You can get it online for about 60 bucks. This is an awesome knife. N690CO. And it's really... It kind of goes away from being comfortable. It's not trying to be ergonomic. This seems to me like form over function quite in, in with with an attempt at a very strange taste in flair, if that makes sense. This is this is I just love it. This looks like something you'd see in NOM, right? It's a folding knife with a cross guard. This is the second folding knife with a true cross guard I've ever actually had. Which, I mean, it's awesome. I actually really like the way that this kind of Fuller-esque thing is taken out of the top of the blade here. Taken out of the spine of the blade because it's level with the spine here. But it actually dips down and it leaves that little lump coming up to where it actually comes down into this clip point. And so it makes me want to call almost call it a reverse Tonto, but... It's a clip point, right? I mean, I don't, I'm, you know, it, it messes with you on what this blade shape's actually doing, but it is such a simple blade shape. It doesn't even have a sharpening toil, but the actual plunge grind coming down there is done really well. So that it's it's at least done well without the the short that toil. It would be nice to have one there, but it does kind of lead you to be able to choke up a little bit. I can choke up, get a decent grip on there, do some push cutting if I ever really needed to. I've done more hacking with this thing because I can walk all the way back and compress, you know, my four fingers into this little back section and actually have it weighs that's a thick, you know, it's a, it's a good chunk of steel out there. And so it actually hacks through little branches and stuff like that really well. And there's such a powerful grip with the retracting motion on this. Any sort of penetration, you don't, you really protect it from slipping up as well as slipping off in the retracting because there's this little big ass lump actually coming off the side of the knife. And it's, it's just designed beefy this thing really is successful at what it's trying to do because it locks itself in your hand the width of it it's not a small knife it's big it's fat in this direct in this mid dimension here i'll put the, the actual specs down in the description it's fat in this direction you can see my pinkies nowhere near touching my palm and as well as my index fingers if I hold it like this, my index finger's still got that little bit of space. And so this is actually, this is a very strong grip. This is a very sturdy grip in the hammer position. And I can hold it, saber grip isn't bad. My finger actually falls, my fingers fall into these spots here. If I give it just kind of a little bit of a downwards grip into my fingers, and now I'm not holding it all the way up, I can actually put all of my fingers in this little area here where it's not into the G10. And it's... It doesn't eat your hands, you know, because this really aggressive G10 pattern can get can wear on your fingers. It can get uncomfortable, and it is up in this area here, although they have relieved it, you can see. And so the design here is very functional. It actually works really well, and it just gives that kind of robotic, very Italian. It's made in Montiago, Italy, and if any knife looks Italian... This is it. I don't know why it's tip down carry only. That does kind of bother me, but it is reversible for left or right. Look at the size of the hardware in this, because you can see the size of the actual screw coming through. And so that's not just like a fat headed screw. That's they're huge. I mean, it's an Allen key and they're huge coming through this. You know, you can. I mean, I've got a lot of confidence in the strength of this knife as well. It's an aluminum backspacer in the back, I believe, something like that. It may be steel. It does have this little skull crusher pommel kind of thing on there, glass breaker, whatever you want to call it. The liners are skeletonized, 
You can actually see in there, they're, they're skeletonized, but it's still hefty. This thing is not a light knife. And the flipping action doesn't really do too much. It does have a decent detent. The detent is there, but it's just not really the smoothest knife, even though it is pretty much perfectly centered. If I played with it more, if I, you know, play with it, actually edc this thing for six, seven months, maybe it'd flip open a little bit better, but it doesn't quite work, so I have to give it a little bit of wrist action to actually get it open, and the lockup is about 60%. This is out of the box. It hasn't moved since I've had it, but that's where it's been. You can see the little bit of oil actually transitioned from where my finger hasn't touched it yet, so that's, you know, you can, the lock sits at the same position, and it's sticky. You can hear that? Get over. Very sticky lock, which isn't necessarily a good thing for aesthetic. You know what I mean? The modern interpretation, you know, or modern desires with pocket jewelry, the way, you know, knives have become, we want them all perfectly smooth and the best action. And I'm not talking shit because I love that. That that's that I'm I fall into that. But that's really what we want. But the sticky lock in reality is a good thing. And the way that it's at 60%, look, maybe 50% would be a little bit better, but it's more stable. It's just got less of a chance of actually slipping out and the way that it's sticking in there like that Just gives you that extra bit of stability It gives you that extra bit of this knife isn't going to close it isn't going to come down on your hand So it's a very secure lockup even though that liner is relatively thin They could have done a little bit better job on that, but I mean it's still it's not a bad thing for the style and for the design of this this knife actually what it is I like the sticky lock, and I like this blade shape as well. Very simple. Good utility. It's got a good belly on it. N690 COs, similar to VG10 if you're not familiar with it. Quite popular in Europe. Just a very purpose-built knife. a Maserin Revolt. Show you the box. 669 Revolt. That's it. Y'all have a good one.